The perineum is the region between the pubic symphysis and the coccyx and between the legs. And we can divide it into an in the anterior part here and the posterior part. Right over here in the posterior part we have the anus and here is the rectum and here is the external anal sphincter. In the anterior part we have the external genitalia of the male. Here is a closer view of the male external genitalia. It consists of the penis and the scrotum. If we consider the scrotum first, we'll find that within the scrotum you have the male sex organs, the testes. The serous membrane that lines the testis is referred to as the tunica vaginalis. The testis itself is surrounded by a fibrous capsule. Because of the thick nature of this fibrous capsule, it appears white. For that reason, it is referred to as the tunica albuginea. On the posterior side of the testis, there is this very highly convoluted tubular structure, the epididymis. The epididymis can be divided into parts. This part right over here on the superior pole of the testis is the head and then most of the epididymis here is referred to as the body and then finally over here you have the part of the epididymis which is called the tail. The testis remains connected to structures within the abdominal pelvic cavity by means of a spermatic cord and this cord goes through an external inguinal ring, through an inguinal canal, and enters into the peritoneal cavity. You can see a little bit of the ductus deferens back over here. The red vessels include the testicular artery, which is supplying blood to the testis. This network of veins is referred to as the papiniform plexus. The penis has an expanded tip the glands. The part that is pendulous is the body. The penis attaches to the pubic arch and the perineal membrane and this region right over here is referred to as the root of the penis. Right over here you have the corpus spongiosum. Going through it you have the urethra. As you follow the corpus spongiosum to its distal end you can see that it expands at its tip and it forms the glands. The urethra continues to the tip of the glands and opens up at the tip. On the dorsal aspect of the penis, there is a pair of fibrovascular cylindrical bodies which are referred to as the corpora cavernosa. In this view, we can see the cut edge of one of these corpora cavernosa. There is a wall that separates the two corpora cavernosa. This partition is referred to as the median septum 